Hi everyone, this is Jim Martinez with the 8th grade science channel once again. Uh, today's topic is going to be understanding the atomic structure uh, in relation with our TICS 8.5a, which is to describe the structure of the atom, including masses, electrical charges, and location of uh, several particles like protons, neutrons, and electrons. Uh, let's start by mentioning the main parts of the atom. We can see here a simple atomic structure. We can see the title over here where the nucleus is. And we can see several of the particles like the protons, which are the red ones, the neutrons, which are the yellow ones, and the electrons uh, floating around the nucleus of the atom. So here we go, the two main parts. Remember, these are the main parts of the atom. So we got two main parts. Uh, one of them will be the nucleus of the atom, and the second one will be these circles around the atom, which is uh, around the nucleus, which is the electron clouds. In the nucleus, we have two main particles. We have uh, protons. We can see these ones are red in color. These are going to be the protons. I'm going to point one so you can see it. And these ones are, they have a positive charge. <coughs> uh, the other one over here is also the neutrons. Now the neutrons have a yellow color. So these uh, are the neutrons. And remember the neutrons are called neutrons because they're neutral. That means that they don't have any charge. So I'm going to put here no charge. Both of these particles, protons and neutrons, are located inside the nucleus of the atom. You can see right here, it says nucleus, showing this circle around with the particles inside. Now the other one that is outside the nucleus floating around on the electron clouds are the electrons. And those come in blue. So we're going to be putting here electrons. These ones have a negative charge and are located outside the nucleus of the atom, floating around on the electron clouds. The subatomic particles in the atoms have also electrical charges, and they have their respective mass. Like, for example, if we see this very basic atomic structure once again, uh, we see inside the nucleus the protons and the neutrons, and we see the electrons around the nucleus. So in this chart or this data table, we are going to be including um, the protons, which are uh, these ones. They have an electrical charge that is positive. Um, the uh, mass or atomic mass units, um, this is the relative weight of these particles. Remember, these particles inside the atoms are very, very small. So it will be improper to use like grams or kilograms or any other type of units to measure their weight. Um, so instead, they use atomic mass units. And each proton, each of those green ones right here, it counts as one AMU. What is AMU? This is atomic mass units. Neutrons are also here. They're inside the nucleus of the atom. And this each of these particles also is going to account for one AMU. But these ones don't have any charge. They are neutral. That's why they're called neutrons. And they also count for one atomic mass unit or AMU. The electrons, remember, they have a negative charge. Negative charge. I like to put a um, negative sign inside the parentheses. And these ones, electrons are very, very small compared to the other particles. So therefore, um, we consider them not to have any mass, even though their mass is very, very small. So for this one, just put that they have zero AMUs, or we just don't put any AMUs at all. OK, thank you very much. This pretty much is everything. Um, Remember, we have learned a couple of things today. We have learned the two main parts of the atom, which is the nucleus and the electron clouds. 
and also we have seen the electrical charges and the atomic mass of each particles inside the nucleus. This is Jim Martinez with the 8th grade science channel. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you very much.